Hi everyone, Angela here. In this video, I want to show you one of the quickest ways to make a plain scrunchie. You'll need a piece of fabric 5 by 26 inches and 10 inches of quarter inch wide elastic. Using a half inch seam allowance, stitch the short ends right sides together, back tacking at the start and finish. Open up your fabric and finger press the seam open and flip it over. Then match your top edges together and roll it up as skinny as possible. Then bring your bottom edges together, matching them at the seam. About an inch above that seam, start your stitching by back tacking. Stitch as far down as you can, and then with your needle down, pull that center fabric towards you as much as possible. This is what's called the burrito method. Continue stitching and pulling and making sure that you're not catching any of that center fabric. When you get close to the beginning, you'll need to leave an opening about two fingers or an inch and a half wide. Back tack at the end of your stitching to finish. Next, I'm inserting one end of the elastic through the opening of my clover bodkin and then pulling it down the narrow end for it to stay in place. If you don't have a bodkin, you could use a pair of these takeaway chopsticks by sliding the elastic right into the end that isn't separated yet, and that'll work as well. Insert the bodkin and elastic into the scrunchie and push the fabric down and squish it together as much as possible. Release the elastic and remove the bodkin, bringing the ends of the elastic together and tie it together like the end of a balloon. Pull the knot nice and tight, leaving about an inch of elastic on the end. Now find the opening and pull all of the fabric and elastic right side out. Now you can slip stitch the opening closed by hand if you want a really nice finish, but for speed I'm just going to bring the folds together and edge stitch it closed to finish. And there you have it, a super easy scrunchie. Thanks again for watching. Make sure to check out some of my other videos. Until next time, happy sewing.